All right, um, guys, we are looking at um, writing molecular orbital configuration. Just like um, for atoms, we write electronic configuration for atoms. It's actually very important we also know how to write um, molecular orbital configuration. Now, like I said earlier, and I've already given us the, the order in which molecular orbitals have been written. All right, so in terms of electronic configuration, this has to do with the order in which the electrons are filled. Okay? So, without wasting so much time, I just drafted out um, two important steps that you just need to grab so that you don't get lost along the line. Now, the first thing you're going to do, please, um, meanwhile, this uh, molecular, molecular orbital configuration is very, very important because it will help you to be able to calculate for the bond order. If you don't know how electrons have been occupied, you will not really be able to calculate it for your bond order. The same, you may not really be able to determine your paramagnetism or your diamagnetism. All right, so um, the first step is for you to calculate the total number of electrons, all right? Now, um, I, the normal way to calculate this is for you to just add up, if it's a molecule that is neutral, no charge, no positive charge, no um, negative charge, you just add up the atomic number. If there is a positive charge, you remove one electron. If there is a negative charge, you add. In other words, if the number of positive charge is two, if it is two positive charge, you remove two electrons, which is two negative charge, you add two electron, all right? All right, so very simple, we have to come up with this formula that will help us, in order for us to know the number of electrons contained in a diatomic molecule or a diatomic ion. Now, the number of electrons is actually equal to the summation of the atomic number minus a charge, all right? Now, the next thing you're going to do, you start filling an electron. Fill each molecular orbital with two electrons. This is meant to be two electrons, please. Pardon me. Starting with the the one with the lowest energy. We are going to demonstrate that. Starting with the one with the lowest energy. Full stop. For the degenerate orbitals, electrons are placed singly first before pairing. The degenerate orbitals are on the p. That's the pi two py and the pi two pz. Those two are of the same energy. So when filling them, you don't have to put them singly first before pairing. And also the antibonding pi to py and the antibonding pi to pz. Those two are also degenerate. So those are the those are the set of degenerate orbitals we're going to experience. So we're going to see in molecular orbitals. Alright? So let's take this for example. You're asked to write the molecular orbital configuration for this. Remember, I've showed us how to combine to form this. But in exams, we don't really have that time to start saying. L plus L, 1S plus 1S. No. I gave us an order. All right? Molecular orbital, you always start from the bonding 1S, antibonding 1S, bonding 2S, antibonding 2S, and so on. Now, the number of electrons that is contained in the molecule is going to determine the molecular orbital you're going to make use of, or the number of molecular orbital you're going to make use of. But first and foremost, let's determine number of electrons here. Now, number of electrons is actually summation of atomic number. You ask yourself, what is the atomic number of lithium? Lithium is 3. Since we have 2 lithium, 3 plus 3. Minus, is there any charge on this lithium? No. This guy has neither positive nor negative. So the charge is 0. So this becomes 6 minus 0. The total number of electrons is equal to 6. In other words, since this is 6 electron, I'll start writing my molecular orbital. It has an order. It always starts with bonding 1s. Okay, this place will not contain. It always starts with bonding 1s, antibonding 1s. I put two electron, I put two electron. It's remaining two. I move on, bonding 2s. I put two electron. It's finished. Since my lecture is finished, I can stop here. It's not necessary you have to complete it. Because it's, it's, if, if you complete it, they will not penalize you. But I don't, it's, it's of no use because electron has finished. All right? Now, this is a molecular, um, molecular beta configuration. For lithium 2 plus, you say, what is the atomic number of lithium? 3 plus 3. Minus, what is a charge on this lithium? The charge here is plus. The plus is how many? Plus one. So this becomes 
6 minus 1, the total number of election is equal to 5. With the help of the election, you'll be able to know how many molecular orbitals will be involved here. So you start writing in the columns. You start from, this, um, from the first, the lowest. This is bonding 1s, antibonding 1s. You put 2, you put 2. 4 electrons out of 5 is being used up, remaining 1. You write the next molecular orbital bonding 2s. And since it's one electron that is remaining, you just place the one here. So this is just this is, is this is just the molecular orbital configuration. I just had to write it because in exams you may be asked to write molecular orbital configuration. Some persons will be confused. Alright, but this you're going to find the application in calculation of bond order and then determination of paramagnetism or diamagnetism. In the next video, we're going to take bond order.